Well, now to our GMA cover story, the movie that everyone is talking about, Borat, is back. And, of course, he's making headlines. And on GMA First, Sasha Baron Cohen stars in the newly released Borat subsequent movie film alongside award-winning Bulgarian actress Maria Bakalova, who plays his 15-year-old daughter. And they are both joining us now. So, Sasha Maria, thank you for being with us. And everyone is talking specifically about a scene, that scene, as it's been referenced in your movie involving Rudy Giuliani. And Giuliani himself has been talking about it as well. We can't show the clip. It's not morning TV friendly, but basically the president's personal attorney is seen in a compromising position in a hotel room after having an interview with Maria's character. Uh, but I want to say what Giuliani tweeted. He said the Borat video is a complete fabrication. I was tucking in my shirt after taking off the recording equipment. At no time was I ever inappropriate. If Sasha Baron Cohen implies otherwise, he is a stone cold liar. Sasha, how do you respond to Giuliani's tweet? And uh, feel free, Maria, to chime in afterwards. Um, well, I would say that if the president's lawyer found what he did there uh, appropriate behavior, then heaven knows what he's done with other female journalists in the hotel rooms. Uh, and I, listen, I just urge everyone to watch the movie. It is what it is. He did what he did. And uh, make your own mind up. Um, it was pretty clear to us. Maria, um, did you want to add anything? I, I'm happy. Um, maybe um, I want to thank you that I was <laughs> sure that you were going to save me for everything, from everything. <laughs> Well, I was actually, um, I was quite concerned for her during the scene. I was in a, we built a hideaway that I was hiding in during the entire scene. So uh, I was monitoring it by text, but, um, you know, it's my uh, responsibility as a producer as well to ensure that the lead actor is, uh, is looked after. Well, Maria, did you but feel yes. unsafe? Because it <laughs> sounds like you were implying that you did. No, that's what I'm saying, that I've always felt safe with our team, with our crew, with Sasha in my corner. Um, I actually never felt that I've been in danger. That's why I'm lucky, <laughs> because I had them. <laughs> well, we do have a clip from the movie that we can show in which Maria, your character, is getting a makeover. Let's take a look. I have an uh, um, idea of a hair. Okay. This one, nice one. This is actually a gentleman. This is a man? Yes, sir. Okay, so we're gonna do a spray tan today. How dark is she wanting to go? What color is best for a racist family? I would stay right here. I wouldn't go any darker than a six or a seven. Wow. All right. Well, this is your second time around, obviously, as Borat. The first time in 2005, you said that you set out to reveal America's inner racism. I know you also want to make people laugh, so it's a, it's, it's a, a, a double strategy there. But what has changed in these past 15 years? Well, you know, at that time, people were shocked that there was an underbelly of hatred and racism. Now it's overt. And, you know, you hear those words being um, projected by the uh, president of the most powerful country in the world. And uh, what I actually wanted to do is to reveal that underneath all the hatred and underneath all the, the division, uh, we are actually not that far apart. We are good people, people who you know, you would despise normally and from the other side, and I tried to get people from both sides, I, you know, I wanted to show the humanity. There were a couple of QAnon conspiracy theorists that I lived with who actually are good people who just mm. um, have adopted some very negative conspiracy theories that are being propagated by social media and by the Trump presidency. You, you are obviously a master at disguise, Sasha. And in another scene in the movie, we see you sneaking into it's Vice President. Of disguise today. <laughs> <laughs> you, we see you sneaking into Vice President Mike Pence's speech at the Conservative Political Action Conference. How did that play out? 
Well, that was pretty difficult because uh, I woke up at two o'clock in the morning and I had a world-class prosthetics team turn my face into the president's. Uh, that took about six hours and I was wearing a fat suit. Um, and it's quite a large fat suit because um, of the, I don't know how to say it, but the, the president's physique. And obviously I had to get through a number of layers of security um, including TSA security and the last thing you want is I knew the moment they touched the fat suit they would not allow me in and one of them wandered me um, and there was a beep and they said what is that and I said um, it's uh, it's a pacemaker I was obviously doing a my American accent and then they carried on with the wand and then suddenly at the lower bit of the belly it beeped again and they said well what is that why is it beeping and I had no answer, and the TSA officer said, hold on, it's, it's, it's the wire for the pacemaker, right? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, okay, go through. <laughs> and then I essentially hid in a bathroom uh, at CPAC for five hours, listening to the evolutions of various conservative men, and then eventually we did the scene and got escorted out by about 15 security staff, including mm. Secret Service um, and local police. I, I'm, um, I, I, but interestingly enough, they, ne they never uh, got my identification. So if you're watching this, the Secret Service, I think next time try and ensure if somebody breaks into a political event with the vice president or president. You, you, you certainly their, expose uh, quite a bit in these movies uh, on, on all levels. Maria, I'm curious, what is an audition like? For Borat, the audition, uh, the audition was incredible, actually, scary. Uh, but I'm from Bulgaria, and I'm extremely happy that I have the opportunity to have this part, uh, which is for European, right? Uh, <clears throat> so we started with self tape. It was an open call. Uh, I sent another one, and then I went to London, to England few times and we even started with real people at the first audition. Uh, it was crazy. Uh, so she, be, she means <laughs> in the scene she auditioned with people who thought I was a real person as Borat and that she was really my daughter. Yeah, we started with the self tape and it was nice and then the most important part was that people should believe in me, that I'm real, that um, Tuta exist, and I think Tuta actually exists now. And Sasha, you said yeah, it was... Yeah, well, she, she does exist. <laughs> you said it was important to get this film out <laughs> sure, she does exist. I mean, actually, mm -hmm. Maria has been staying in character since the movie <laughs> um, and actually recently got taken on a tour of the White House um, about a week before the super spreader event uh, by people who believed that she was a real journalist. I mean, she's an incredible actor. We interviewed 600 young women uh, from all around the world and she's hilarious she is one of the most courageous actors in history if she doesn't get nominated for an oscar then that's a travesty uh, she's hilarious and she has the capacity to deliver a scene and make you cry which is what finally got her the part when we did the breakup scene in the movie and I had to stop it because I felt myself getting quite emotional. She's a one of a kind, you know, imagine coming to America for the first time. She'd barely been out of Bulgaria and suddenly she's playing a role with real people in some terrifying situations and she got through it all. I don't know how, but she is a revelation. Well, now you're making me cry. Uh, <laughs> no, we'll, end so. we'll end on that beautiful note. We'll end on that beautiful note. Maria Bakalova, Sasha Baron Cohen, thank you both so much for being with us. We appreciate it. And Borat's subsequent movie film is available now on Amazon Prime Video. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.